about the role of art in society and where you think what, what do you think the future landscape for art is? A lot of our audience has actually asked a specific question around how artificial intelligence and technology is disrupting the creative landscape. So any thoughts on that particular tech disruption in the creative industries? Actually, these are two questions. So question one is uh, the role of art. If you see the history of art, art is of two kinds. Art for the elite, and art for the people. And I suppose both of them are equally important, but if you put a gun on my head and ask me to make a choice, I'll say art for the people. Although art for the elite is also, I mean, I have given a great uh, painting, great poetry, great architecture, and so on, and uh, sculpture. But the fact is that uh, art is not an experiment. So written. If you keep consuming good art, good literature, good poetry, good music, good painting, your eyes are open to that. You develop a certain sense of beauty, certain sense of fairness, certain sense of justice. It's not somebody is not beating the pulpit and talking about justice, but poetry, literature. They tell you particularly uh, fiction. Tell you two things which are in a way paradoxical. One, that they can be people, different kind of people. People with different thoughts, different culture, different traditions, different beliefs, and so on. And at the same time, exactly at the same time, good fiction tells you all people are very similar. Now it is in a way paradoxical, but that is how art makes you aware of other human beings, creates empathy in you for the rest of the world. That is very important. Good poetry develops a sense of decency and beauty in you. And all that is painful, all that is negative, all that is vengeful is ugly. So I think anybody who consumes good art, good poetry, respects it, uh, will not be a hateful person or will not glorify it. So obviously, we are either some people are too exuberant and not thinking about it, there are some people who are extremely worried and not uh, objectively thinking about it, but let's give ourselves a little time. And we will develop, we will have to, we have no choice. Certain discipline, certain board, and certain laws and bylaws to see to it that. Uh, Artificial intelligence is for us. We are not for artificial intelligence. It will happen, I'm sure. No, it's a tough question to answer and also an easy question to answer. We have to remember that in art we tell stories, whether it's painting or whether it is literature or that is movies, it is telling stories. We are still a community of people who are seeing in our lives what colonialism has done uh, to our people. So on the one hand, keeping that in mind, how do we suddenly then come into our own? So if we look at UK, for instance, the first people who came in were uh, people who were working at airports. They were working in small factories, etc. Till that time, they tried to completely hide themselves away from the mainstream society. Then after that, more successful people started coming in. The younger people started coming in. So you had chartered accountants, and you had people who were doing very well, and doctors. And then you saw in, in um, the expression of art, the great confidence Bhangra coming in and everything that was Indian was now to be claimed and not something to be shied away from. So you said, this is how I am. They found itself into music, into discourse, into everything. Now I think after that, there is a confidence coming into Indian uh, art particularly because as the world shrinks and becomes a global village, we have to accept that cultures have to be understood within their own paradigms. 
they cannot be impositions by the West on the East and measured by those yardsticks. So given this uh, new confidence, I think we are able to make films that tell our stories in the way we tell stories. And what we are receiving from uh, Britain here is people are willing to listen to our voice because we are no longer ashamed of it. So I think in a very big way, we are contributing to what are good relations between UK and India.